Welcome to Skagway, Alaska. I'm on the Radiance of the Seas, and that is the Ovation of the Seas following us into Skagway Harbor. This is my first trip ever to Skagway, and it's the second stop on my cruise from Seward, Alaska to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And the weather was fantastic. Sure, you have your tickets ready for those who are going to the White Pass Summit. And I did something I rarely do. I booked a shore excursion. I booked the White Pass Summit excursion, which is a two and a half to two and three quarter hour trip up the mountains of Skagway to the Canadian border to an elevation of 2,888 feet. Amazing views. Now, when you get off the dock at Railroad Dock, you have to walk through these metal connexes, which are designed to help pedestrians stay clear of recent rock slide activity that they've had. And it's mandatory. You have to walk that way. And then you even have to walk to a point where you get on a shuttle to where they drop you off at the main area of the port. And that's where you get on the train. Now, I chose the car that was about third from the end. And in retrospect, I think I'd like to get on the last train car for the next trip. I think it might be more money, but the view must be absolutely amazing. Although, no matter what car you get on, each car has a platform on each end of the car, and you can stand outside and take some great pictures. Skagway, Alaska, which is mile marker zero, and going all the way up to mile marker 2024, which is the White Pass Summit. Now you will notice that there is a loop up at the summit that we will be taking to head back down. So, don't worry about which side you sat on on the way up today because you will see everything no matter what. Because if you're sitting on one side on the way up, you will be on the other side on the way back down. I booked this excursion through Royal Caribbean and it was $209 for one person. I could have booked it at the train station once I got to Skagway for about 146 And I'll try that next time. But the only way to get on board next to the ship is to buy it through Royal Caribbean. Is we're having a meeting on a nearby dock. Fuel for the way, Jay, quick courage. Sophie grabbed his Winchester rifle and storm. Now this is when we like to say that Frank... Now of course I couldn't capture the entire narration on video, but they do narrate throughout the entire train ride and give you some awesome information. Now the White Pass Yukon Railroad offers several different excursions. This one was the shortest one and didn't require a passport. The other ones you will get off the train in Canada so you'll need a passport. As the train makes its ascent, it follows the Skagway River, and it has to make a lot of turns to get around some glacier trailheads. The first turn gave us a great view of the Skagway Harbor. I would say uh, there's a chance we might stop to let a train pass us or something like that along the way. But the only time we're going to actually get off the train. Now the higher we got up into the mountains, the closer we got to the edge of the trail. Some of these drop-offs were amazing. You could obviously see rock slides that had happened in the past. I don't know how they did it during the Gold Rush Age heading up to the Klondike area. Bridal Vale Falls. What an amazing sight. Fed by a glacier.
Unfortunately, today's weather was not that great. We climbed up into the mountains and into the clouds. It's probably not the same just watching this video, but when I was actually standing out on the outside platforms watching us climb through the clouds, it actually felt kind of eerie. It was exciting too. This is the first of two tunnels that we get to go through and since it's a round trip, we do it twice. Now if you're going to stand out on the platforms and while you're going through these tunnels, be careful. A lot of water dripping through there. I got soaked, but it felt great. Over this bridge. Now, after this, we will be going through our second tunnel run through of the day. Which is now, we just passed the old bridge that was the original bridge up here on the Klondike Trail. And back in 1969, they disabled it because the new diesel engines were way too heavy for that bridge. So they had to build a new bridge right over this amazing river. And they also had to build a new tunnel through the Rocky Mountain. Obviously, I didn't learn my lesson from the first tunnel because I got wet again. Wow. Well, we just made the turn around the big loop at the summit after traveling 20.4 miles in the first direction. Now we're going to go back descending the mountain. So if you miss something on the way up, you'll see it on the way down. Couldn't help but wonder what it would feel like if this you didn't know the bridge was out and you were coming from this direction through the fog and through the clouds and all of a sudden the bridge ended now that is an eerie feeling wow
coming down the mountain, the weather was just a little bit better than it was on the way up. But here we're about to pass a train going up the mountain. Like I said earlier in the video, there's several different excursions for the White Pass and Yukon route. Check it out. I was careful not to take a lot of video from inside the train car because of the families on board, but I did notice a pellet stove there for when it's cold and a bathroom on each car. Did you get a picture of that train pass? Oh, that train pass. <laughs> Apparently in 1898, two rail workers got caught under this boulder and it was too heavy for them to ever lift, so they placed a memorial marker there. That must have been quite an avalanche. After passing that cemetery that has people that died in the gold rush era, you come to the downtown area and a beautiful train station. There's a cool gift shop in there. And that's also where you can get your tickets if you want to get the excursion without going through the cruise line. That's one way to save some money. And since the cruise line passengers are also taking that trip, you're going to get back in time to get to your ship. I love this excursion on the White Pass Express. Next time, I'll try one of the other routes that goes up into the Yukon Territory and comes back via a motor coach on the Klondike Highway. I may even just stay in the Skagway area and experience all the amazing hiking trails for a few days. It's beautiful there. I hope you subscribe to my channel and check out my previous and future adventures. Also hit that like button if you like the video and feel free to comment. I love hearing from viewers and fellow travel lovers. We'll see you next time.